Item Number SCP-2170 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Regular exposure to SCP-2170 is necessary for its continued existence and containment. Site-2170 is publicly known as the Clown Motel, staffed by Foundation personnel for the purpose of emetic inoculation to prepare researchers and agents for SCP-2170 exposure. In order for the memetic inoculation to be effective, all staff at Site-2170 must have a sincere appreciation of classical clown imagery and materials. Agents or personnel who find clowns disturbing or not amusing must not be allowed to visit Site-2170. Research personnel are to spend at least eight hours off-duty in Site-2170 for exposure to SCP-2170. For safety purposes, please view the following image inoculation before reading about SCP-2170. Recommended viewing time is 30 seconds. Description: SCP-2170 are non-physical mimetic entities which are experienced within the abandoned mine in Topano, Nevada. As mimetic entities, they exist within the senses of nearby sentient beings. Exposed personnel describe them as whispering voices and fleeting images. The entities themselves are non-malicious and only seek interaction for the purpose of self-preservation, but exposure is detrimental to the long-term physical and mental health of those who precede them unless, for undetermined reasons, subjects have recently enjoyed thoughts about clowns. There is no direct relation between clowns and SCP-2170 beyond this fact, and SCP-2170 expresses distaste for clown iconography. Symptoms of mild SCP-2170 exposure begin with an inability to accurately read written language due to auditory and visual hallucinations. Continued exposure results in paranoia, increased hostility, self-harming, and seizures. Sustained unprotected exposure to SCP-2170 leads to death in most cases except for individuals diagnosed with sociopathic tendencies. Please view the following image inoculation before continuing. Recommended viewing time is 30 seconds. Symptoms 100% lethal to adult males after 24 hours, body tissue becomes cancerous and generates sufficient heat to burn skin. SCP-2170 entities are dormant when not being perceived, and will cease to exist and not perceived on a regular basis. SCP-2170 enjoys regular communication with trained Foundation staff. Communication with SCP-2170 entities is best achieved indirectly via written messages. Although SCP-2170 cannot physically alter written material, they can alter a reader's perception sufficiently to communicate. This exposure is safe provided inoculation measures are carefully maintained. Most information regarding the history and nature of SCP-2170 have been given by the entities themselves. Local historical records do not corroborate the testimony of SCP-2170, and despite the benign nature of the entities, no information that they provide is to be taken as fact until physically verified off-site by unexposed personnel. Please view the following image inoculation before continuing. As mimetic entities are capable of existing within written documentation, therefore, all further references to SCP-2170 must be deleted from Foundation records immediately, specifically including new research regarding exposure. The following material are communications and claims by SCP-2170 entities that have been transcribed by on-site staff, including annotations from independent research. Please note that as SCP-2170 is mimetic in nature, even sanitized logs of communication to SCP-2170 can trigger symptoms of exposure. If you experience any feelings of unease or confusion, please stare at the following emergency image inoculation to counteract SCP-2170 exposure. You need to love clowns, but nobody loves clowns, not even us. Date, statements from 2170 in context, and verified or not verified. Cracks in the night sky, falling stars open new worlds that crumple in fire. Regarding first contact with human consciousness, see document 2170 AA regarding Tanopa Death Plague. Verified. Foundation quarantine successful in preventing mimetic outbreak. Cover story of pneumonia disseminated. 1903. Distrust builds, whispering sees brother turn upon brother. Claimed by SCP-2170 that they were indirectly responsible for rioting miners. Not verified. Foundation surveillance indicates riots were between local workers and Chinese immigrants over mundane issues. Participants unexposed to SCP-2170. 1910. Paradise found in a shining home. Everything that man and whisper could wish for in harmony. Claimed that a team of miners had found the secret golden city of SCP-2170. Not verified. Agents Culver and Fredericks KIA an expedition to find location. No rumors among local miners of such a discovery. 1919 
As Brother turns away unsatisfied, new blood runs untapped deeper within the land. Claims of undiscovered veins of silver and gold within mine. Not verified. Later determined to be hoaxed by SCP-217 to increase exposure. 1931. A lost behemoth dies in the desert. A pale mass haunts the night in vengeance. We are afraid. Verified. A circus elephant from a traveling show escaped its enclosure and fell into a mine shaft. One of the clowns went on a drunken rampage afterwards. Containment procedures updated. 1940. We foresee a stunning light that makes the ground boil. Salvation comes with a price. Prediction of terrible destruction which will result in steady sustenance. Verified. Reference predicted nuclear testing at the Tanopa test range which began. The test range becomes the primary economic activity within Tanopa. Now we just want to talk. It's true. 19. I will kiss your shadow while you sleep. Verified. They will kiss your shadow, and you will be able to feel it. 19. Molesting a ham will go unpunished. Context unknown. Not verified. The ham was of age and gave consent. 1790. Sweet sale, sweet sale, free internet, good rates, pets okay, doesn't matter, everyone hates them. Verified. The motel's rates are very competitive, but business is slow because of all the damn clowns. 3450. Truckers okay. Truckers are not okay. 993. Change the channel, change the channel, change the channel. Verified. He is educational. You would make a tasty soup. Verified. The broth created by stewing your flesh and bones would create a nutritious meal for a large group on a cold, cold day. Addendum. My favorite color is clear. That way I can always see you. Verified.